Hey guys, Vance here from Proline Racing. Today we're gonna assemble the Ultra Reservoir Shot Cap for X-Max. Now not only does it look cool, it's also functional. It's gonna give you more overall oil volume. It's gonna lower the internal pressure at compression. And since the cap is aluminum, it's gonna be tougher than the stock plastic cap. All right, here's what we'll need for the assembly. A two millimeter hex wrench, a seven millimeter nut driver, an adjustable wrench, shock oil, a cup for the old oil, and rags to clean up the mess we're about to make. All right, so to get started, we're gonna disassemble the stock shock. So I'll go ahead and pull the spring retainer off and the spring. And now we'll pull the cap off and dump the oil out. All right, we're gonna need to pull the bottom seal cartridge off the shock body because that's where we're gonna end up filling the shock from when we get the reservoir on. So we'll clean this up and set it aside. All right, now we're ready to start assembling the shock cap. So first we're gonna take our O-rings and place them in the shock cap. Now we can thread in the reservoir body. And snug it down just by hand. And then we can put the oil bleed screw on and put the O-ring on this three millimeter screw first and then thread it into the cap. Now we can thread in the stock shock body into the cap. Make sure it's snug and set it aside. All right, now we're ready for the reservoir piston. So first I'm gonna put the O-rings on it. All right, so now we're ready to fill. We're gonna start by filling the reservoir up to the bottom of the threads. And you'll notice that the oil is transferring over to the main shock body. So you can fill the main body up until it matches the oil level. All right, now we're ready to put the reservoir piston in the reservoir. We're gonna put the hollow end down and slowly drop it in. All right, so here's where you have an option. You can push the piston halfway down for the most oil reserve, or you can push it all the way down for the lowest internal pressure. So I'm gonna push this all the way down, just so that there's always the minimum amount of spring pressure pushing on the oil at all times. I give you the best seal life. Now we can top off the oil in the main shock body. We're gonna fill it up just to the bottom of the threads. Now we're ready for our stock shaft and seal cartridge. I'm gonna drop this in. A little bit of oil should come out. Now 
Now at this point, you should be able to cycle the shock and watch the reservoir piston move in and out slightly. All right, now we're ready for the reservoir spring and the bottom cap. Before we put the bottom cap on, it gets one O-ring. And we can snug that bottom cap down. And then our air bleed screw, it gets one O-ring. It's gonna go on just the same way as that the oil bleed screw in the cap. All right, so we're gonna cycle the shock up and down one more time here. If you chose to have more fluid in the reservoir, this, this step can be more critical. If the shock hydrolocks before you can bottom out fully, then you're gonna need to bleed off a little more oil out of the top cap. Now we're ready to put the stock spring back on. And lastly, the pivot ball and washer. Thanks for watching guys, I hope the video helps. Click the link in the corner for more how-tos. For more information and technical support, visit ProLineRacing.com.